past eight in the morning and completely out of its natural habitat is the lesser spotted Stephen. <laughs> Steve's quite a good mule. 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 Hold on, watch out. There's supposed to be a gap here, isn't there? Is your phone waterproof? Watch out, it's well slippery here. I think it's easier off the slip because it's deeper. Let's get this in here anyway. She's thinking about floating, isn't she? Give us a wave. Well, we're on the water. We did it. We're, we're what, 9.30? Is it really only 9.30? Yeah, it's not very late. And we've moored at Phaeton, so we better keep our eyes on where we were. Everyone else is faffing around with their big boats and having loads of effort getting them together. This was quite easy, I have to say. Yeah, that little electric pump is fantastic. There's some massive ships up here come in and there's a lot of boats in the deep water channel. Although with the tide coming in, it's all right at the moment. There's Brown Sea in the distance there. This would be ideal for exploring the harbour with the uh, tide coming in. Well, here we are. Just coming up past Rockley. Let's get the horizon flat for you. Okay, here we are, just coming up past Rockley, and we've got Arne behind us. I'll just curve around so you can see that. There's Arne behind us. And that's Lake, Lake Pier, Lake Nature Reserve, whatever you want to call it. Rockley Caravan Park. We've got some sailing over there in the distance, nice and neat head. And we're just going to explore this bit up here in front, which we've never been to before either of us. Well, we found this lovely beach here um, on the, I suppose it's the north eastern side of Pool Harbour, isn't it? And it's right by the railway and there's a little bridge and if you look in the distance there you can see the sails at Rockley and Rockley Park just uh, there, I don't know if you can see it, just there I guess, and um, that's Moriconium Quay facing pretty much due south. And uh, Brown Sea Island is quite a way off in the distance now. This bit of land here is on, this bit, and then the hazier bit in the distance with the sails is Brown Sea Island. So we've come a hell of a long way up the harbour, haven't we? Well, this was supposed to be the day where it was ridiculously hot, but it's turned out not to be so, quite so hot. And the sun's, as you can see, hiding behind these clouds. That's Brown Sea Island in front of us there. We're coming around the uh, north, I suppose it's the north side of Brownsea Island here at the moment. And we're going to go around the west side and then back around the south to uh, get back to Beta and pull the boat out in a bit. But we thought while we're here, we go around the island, just have a proper look at it. There's Brownsea looking a bit bigger now, it's still at the north end. Behaving ourselves, not going too fast. Well, we're just going, that's Brownsea Island, if you can see that clearly, there we go, all the way along. And that's the west side of Brownsea Island. And in front of us in the distance, you can see, uh, right out to sea, there's a cruise ship in the gap, right in the middle of your shot now. And uh, the chain ferry to the left in the Haven Hotel. That's the entrance, pool entrance there in front of us. Coming around the south side of Brownsea Island now, and you can see the little castle. That belongs to the John Lewis partnership, where they have a lottery for people to come and stay there, apparently. It's uh, quite choppy around this side of the island. As you can see, the water is much rougher than it was oh, on the other side. 
but that's just the nature of where we are. And just over there, you can see sandbanks on the left. And oh, blimey, that was a big one. And there's the entrance with the chain ferry going across. And it's massive compared with the other ferry. Twice the size in every direction. Right, well, we're now coming around the eastern shore of uh, Brown Sea Island. Coming on our way back home to the bay And the old chain ferry is still in front of us. We're going to go up to that again one more time and then go across to our car park at Mooring. Mooring? Slipway. Now, not a lot of people know this, but the old chain ferry lives on very close to its original uh, service location in Pool Harbour. And this is it. It's the third ferry. We're currently using the fourth over at the air pool entrance, but this is ferry number three, as it says on it here. You can see it. And it's currently used as um, the oyster bed headquarters. So we're going to go round, just all the way around the old train ferry. Obviously, it hasn't got its loading ramps anymore for the cars because it's not used as a car ferry. You can see the chain horses on either side down on the water line. Don't want to get too close because uh, I just imagine there's some very sharp steel bits there and they would make big holes in my lovely little boat. So we'll just go around it from a distance. But there it is. It's just nice to see the old thing because until 1994, this was the way that you got across to Sandbags, from Sandbags to Stutland. Was the shed over the top, mate? No. That's new. It had, uh, it had a higher arch on one side of um, the curve there, and there was yeah. an upper deck with advertising boardings on it, just like the one that there is now. Right. Um, but it was quite curved, arched in shape. Okay. Yeah, this looks vaguely familiar. These kind the of cabin at the end. end of, yes. Yeah. But you think, for the rock bash, we probably... We were on this one. No, this went into service. This went out of service in 1994. That late. And there it is, the old ferry. Right, there's Beta Park in the distance across there, so we're gonna head back now, get the boat out, and uh, go home. Get home and have a bit of Yep, lovely.